Hey there, my name is Rob Knight, and uh, I'm going to show you how to set up back button autofocus on your Lumix GH3 or your Lumix GX7 camera. The process is the same for both cameras, so uh, it'll be pretty simple. And what back button autofocus does is basically take the autofocus away from your shutter release. So the shutter release button simply releases the shutter. It doesn't activate the autofocus. And then to activate the autofocus, we're going to use the AF-AE lock button on the back of the camera. So it's this kind of idea where you focus here and make the shot here. And uh, a lot of sports photographers use that. A lot of nature photographers use that, especially for wildlife. And, um, and you basically get the best of both worlds. You get the benefits of the continuous autofocus. And uh, in the case of the Lumix GH3, um, you get predictive autofocus. So if I've got my subject uh, in my focus area and he's moving and I'm holding down that back button for the continuous autofocus, the camera is going to predictively try to keep him in focus. So it's basically focus tracking without using the focus tracking setting uh, in the AF modes. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to set it up and, uh, and some other pointers as far as some settings you might want to change in the camera. Okay, so I've got my Lumix GH3 going, and I pressed the menu set button, and I selected the custom menu. Now you can change the different menus just by touching the tabs on the left side of the screen. So I'm in the custom menu, and I'm on the first page, and you can tell that because it says one of eight. Okay, so I'm on page one, and I'm going to touch the AF-AE lock setting here, and that's going to change the behavior of the AF-AE lock button. I'm going to touch there and change it to AF on. So now that button is going to turn on the autofocus. And the next thing I'm going to do is turn off the autofocus on the shutter. Okay, turn that off. So now you can see from the menu, the AFAE lock button turns on the autofocus and the shutter button does not turn on the autofocus. Okay, there's one more thing I'm going to change. And that is the focus and release priority. And by default, it's on release. So when I'm in continuous autofocus, what that means is the camera is going to want to trip the shutter whether or not it's in focus. If I change that to focus, now in continuous autofocus, the camera will predictively try to focus on your subject and keep your moving subject in focus. So it's basically doing tracking autofocus. Now there's one other setting I'm going to change, and that is to, I'm going to press the shutter release to get out of the menu and I'm going to press the AF area mode and be sure that I'm in one area. Now I don't want to use focus tracking because it's really hard to lock on that tracking, especially shooting something like wildlife or like a hockey game, for example. Um, your subjects are moving so fast that it's going to be hard to think about, well, let me touch that subject and track it, et cetera. So I just use one area autofocus and then I use that back button autofocus to predictively keep my subject in focus. Okay, so that's how to set up back button autofocus on your Lumix camera. Now I'm going to talk about why you might want to do that. And I'm going to use a hockey game as, as an example because that's the most recent thing that I've shot using back button autofocus. So uh, when the players are moving across your field of view, for example, you want to track their focus, right? You want the camera to help you try to keep that player in focus. So if you're in AFC mode and you have your release priority set to focus, the GH3 and the GX7 will predictively try to keep your subject in focus, okay? So as I'm tracking with that moving subject, I've got my thumb on the autofocus button on the back of the camera, and I'm holding that down. While I'm holding that down, I can shoot or I can not shoot, but either way, the camera is trying to keep my subject in sharp focus. So in that case, I take advantage of the continuous autofocus and the focus priority, just like I would if the autofocus was on the shutter release. On the other hand, if I want to take a picture, say, of the goaltender making a save, okay, I can lock focus on the goaltender, and then I can just take my finger off of the autofocus button. And then I'm just using the shutter release, and I get a little bit higher frame rate because the camera is not trying to track focus in between shots. And I know that the action is going to happen around the goaltender, right? That's my shot. So I get my frame together, basically focus to lock, hold the autofocus button to lock focus and then release it. And then the camera's not gonna change focus unless I tell it to. So I can take as many shots as I want. I don't have to worry about where that focus point ends up. And um, for example, 
if you want to make a picture of the goalie and you change your frame just a little bit, maybe that focus point moves towards the background and then all of a sudden you get five shots in a row of the crowd and focus behind the goaltender instead of the goalie where you wanted to make the picture in the first place. So as you can see, this is also a great idea for wildlife that is against a busy background. You can get that focus locked and then just let go of the focus and use the shutter release to trip your shutter and use your higher frame rates in a lot of cases because you're not tracking focus in between shots. So if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a note at rob at robnightphotography.com and I'll see you later.